Papa Scott, coming at you. Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Uh, but I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, hey, <laughs> I uh, I had a comment yesterday from somebody uh, who said, um, I think it was on the uh, uh, Dear Mama. Was it, was that the name of it? What? How, how can I not remember? It was the song we did yesterday from uh, <laughs> from Yeet. Uh, no, that, oh god, I am totally losing my brain here, uh, what the hell song did we do yesterday, Summers, that was it, Dear Mom, yeah, okay, not Mama, Dear Mom, from Summers, and, uh, one of the comments was, uh, that I was the coolest white guy and that I was invited to the barbecue, and I, I somebody else at one point, <laughs> one point left a comment and said, you're invited to the barbecue, and I couldn't find the video, but, um, even that first time when I saw it, and now definitely the second time, I was like, is this, is this like a huge compliment thing in, in, uh, I assume it's the black community, right? And, uh, and I kind of thought that's what it was, because, um, I totally get the love of barbecue, it's probably my absolute favorite American food, and, um, it's, I really thought it was great, I really appreciate that sort of thing, and, um, and I hope I'm worthy of the <laughs> of the invite, uh, because believe me, I I grew up with messed up stuff uh, that uh, I find disgusting now. Like, uh, yeah, no, it was it was bad, and it was just absolutely a product of my environment. And thankfully, I when I was in high school, I was a foreign exchange student. Um, honestly, also, I was a huge comic book fan and role-playing game fan, and so I absolutely absorbed the, the morality of, like, Captain America in the 1980s and, and Spider-Man and Great Power, Great Responsibility, that sort of stuff. I, I totally believe that stuff. I think that is what we're doing on this earth is to be good to be, be good to each other, because otherwise, what is the point? And, um... And there doesn't need to be a god or anything else outside that. Just, you know, be good to each other. And then you won't have anything to to be upset about. Um, and unfortunately, we have all this baggage of history that, that ruins it. We can't just be born and start existing right now from nothing. We're born into this world that still has all this information that's incorrect and has been edited and re-edited and changed and not presented to you in full so you can grasp the whole story and I don't even know what the hell oh yes growing up in the weird so yeah I did awful things when I was younger and had no clue they were awful we we I had a five boys lives next door four boy uh, four, uh, three, three or four boys lived across the street along with their sister I had two sisters uh, and we would all play and we would run around the neighborhood yelling, N-word pile! And I cannot believe that I used to do that. And and, and it is a thing. Look it up. It's I, I found it on Urban Dictionary. I was like, was this just in my neighborhood that was so sick and gross? And no, it's not, unfortunately. It's all over the place. And um, yeah, but I, I, I grew up, absorbed all that comic book ridiculous you would think morality but that's where i get my opinions about things because i thought it made sense it felt right like yeah you should be good to one another america should try to be better for every generation something that apparently the greedy me 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 generation of the 1980s uh has completely forgotten about um and some of the generations before, which is why we're currently in all this mess. God, I'm talking a lot. I don't know, this got me off on a jag. Um, what else was I saying? All that stuff. Oh, but I went away and did... Um, I was a foreign exchange student to the Turkish side of Cyprus. Uh, if you don't know anything about Cyprus, it's absolutely fascinating. The Turks invaded. It was Greek and Turkish occupied or held that and turkey said they were afraid greece was going to make it part of greece and turkey didn't want that to happen and it's just it's a mess but you hear turkish people are awful and mean and terrible and they were the nicest people and so i just had to realize like this isn't right to 
do this stuff. And then I went to college and in Madison. And Anyway, uh, I have vastly changed. I am the most liberal person in my family by far. And um, I only pray that my family will hopefully follow me into at least voting for a not Republican uh, in the next primary or the next presidential election. Okay, that's a lot of talk to get to this song. This was a new one uh, uh, from Destroy Lonely is the the artist's name. Uh, Saw a cool picture of him. I was trying to find a biography uh, and he had uh, like white dreads. Uh, Not dreads. uh, Maybe they were dreads. Kind of corn braid thing, cornrow braid things. I, I'm not sure exactly what it was. It looked awesome. It was so cool to see that color white hair. Uh, anyway, Bobby Sandemani? That's a neat name. It's like Sandman, but uh, yeah, S-A-N-D-I-M-A-N-I-E. Sandimini? Sandimani? That sounds better. The third, born July 30th. Oh, hey, your birthday's coming up. 2001! <laughs> yeah, that's just before I moved to Seattle. Properly known as Destroy Lonely is an American recording artist from Atlanta, Georgia, the son of rapper I-20. Not familiar with him. Uh, Lonely grew up in a musical house- household and created from a young age. His earliest official release came in 2015 on SoundCloud. Oh, that's 14 years old. That's pretty good. Good for him. Um, as he grew, his fan base... Uh, as he grew his fan base and released more projects, Lonely Forged relationships with many contemporaries in the Atlanta area scene, such as Big Smoke Chapo and Nezus. I assume it's Nezus, not Nezus, but it could be. Uh, he closely works with the producer Clayco. I like that name. I'm surprised there's not already a company named Clayco. Uh, maybe there is. He also frequently works with producers in Underworld Music Group, an artist and producer group created by Clayco. Lonely is affiliated with Big Smoke Chapo's Addicted to Money. Uh, must be record label. Uh, he became affiliated with Playboy, B-O-I, Cardi's opium label in early 2021. Uh, so this... Uh, oh, yeah, here... Um, Right here, you can see the kind of cool gray white hair. It just looks really neat. Uh, and let's uh, give a listen to Dover Street Market. Looks like this probably came out in 2020, or at least that's when this video was uploaded. Uh, I did see on Spotify he has a huge number of followers, so he is way, way more well known than anybody we've listened to recently, other than like BTS and some of the classic. Uh, you know, artists that we've had. Uh, let's jump, jump in here. I know I've been talking for a while already, and it's a short song, so I'm probably going to do another video after this. Two minutes, 22 seconds. Dover Street Market. Destroy Lonely. That was it. Oh. Okay, so he's setting up a very relax sort of atmosphere to it and I'm sure it's going to change entirely here in just a second but again introductory thing would not lead you to believe this was a hip-hop song at all and it's one of the coolest things about hip-hop it just no other music does that you don't go to a to a classical concert and you know, it's it's a joke when they start playing something modern because it's so weird. But in hip hop, this isn't weird. It's just so cool. Uh, I'm up in Dover Street Market And I said that hoe put it back on the market oh, yeah. And I drove the whip of a bitch I can't park it She asked what I like to do, told that bitch shopping Yeah, I took her out, told that bitch shopping Yeah, she backing up, told that bitch park it Yeah, I'm pulling it, I'm finna park this Yeah, yeah, let's get this shit started Me and my gang brought the sticks to the park There is a lot going on here There is a lot going on uh, I have to back up Because he really jumps into it fast And the whole tone of it changes the the piano goes away entirely and it's it's very it feels very dark um no that's not entirely right it feels um you know (laughs) it feels like a back alley 
in 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 not a good way <laughs> and uh I don't know what's going on with this, so let's let's keep going. Now put it back on the market. I drive the whip, but my bitch, I can't park it. She asked what I like to do, told that bitch shopping. Yeah, I took her out, told that bitch shopping. Yeah, she back it up, told that bitch park it. Yeah, I'm pulling it, I'm finna park this. Yeah, yeah, let's get this shit started. Me and my gang brought the sticks to the party. Yes, I'm on fire, I think I'm on arson. My breath feel is fire out, and he popping shit. Yeah, this bitch is so squishy like I did. Italian restaurant, I eat it, I did. Put this on some smoking rest, fuck with the daddy. This is so cool and so. <laughs> So anti keeping the beat. He is all over the place and it's so weird. And uh and it it actually makes me worry <laughs> about what is happening in the world because it's so untethered from anything. It's it's just not anchored. It it doesn't have a, a a place to be, right? It just is sort of bleh. And it just, even that is a statement, right? Just crazy. Yeah, it's super interesting stuff. This is just... It's like... It, it, this is almost what you would consider the opposite of hip-hop because it doesn't have that, that beat. And it's crazy that it's considered hip-hop, but because it's the opposite, it grew out of it, Wow, it's nuts. Trust the smoke and rest, fuck with the dice. We heard that he talking shit, we gon' red dice here. I like Jordan, green, purple, and red. Yeah, they my motherfucking medicine. Yeah, and I got this bad bitch in my bed. I'm starting to think that she had it, shit. Yeah, and I got some rest that I just spent. And I'm trying my best to forget it, man. Yeah, I'm better not do that little shit again. Yeah, you know they did money, we get it. Yeah. Somebody who knows music, tell me what is the count of this? Because it's not a simple one, two, three, four. It's got to be like a. I don't even know. I haven't done any weird counts and so like five ninths and th like what is this? Does anybody know? Because it's it's insane what they're doing with this. Ah, I, I want to hear somebody who knows music, who 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 likes hip hop, who can who does a reaction to this, because I want to I want to see what they have to say, because this is like musically so freaking different. It's crazy. Yes, I'm focused. I'm trying to get rich, little nigga. You so focused on not doing shit, and you broke while you figure. You stupid as hell. I'm up in Dover Street Market. And I said that I'll put it back on the market. And I draw the whip, but a bitch, I can't park it. She asked what I like to do, told that bitch shopping. Yeah, I took her out, told that bitch shopping. Yeah, she back in there, told that bitch park it. Yeah, I'm pulling it, I'm finna park this. Now there was a beat. Okay, I have two things that I th that I just thought of for this. What this reminds me of, one is, this reminds me of somebody, whatever, like a busker, somebody performing on a street corner, a rapper performing on a street corner, and maybe there's some music that they're playing, but then there's all this noise of the city that is that doesn't line up with anything else, right? It doesn't, it's part of the experience of hearing the song, but it's not part of the song. And that's kind of what this feels like to me. And the other thing that I was thinking was, um, not a busker on a street corner, it was, damn it. Um, oh, like a movie scene. 
was the other thing I thought of, where because it has a, a beginning and an end, right? But like a, an artfully created movie that you have a scene playing out in front of you, there's music playing, there's noises in the scene, very similar to the, the street corner thing I was just talking about, but it's constructed so that there's a beginning, middle, end, whatever you want to say obviously songs and stories are basically the same thing and, and it feels like that so it it goes along introduces all the characters and the situation and the and the setting and then that all plays out and that's what the bulk of the song is and then the sort of uh ending part where it closes itself back down again and and exits the scene and I don't know, but that's, again, kind of like I'm just trying to process this here as we're, hello, kitten, as as we're um, talking about it, and uh, it's crazy. Uh, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. I know I've got another song recommended by him as well, so I'll probably do that in the next few days too, but this is a absolutely bonkers song that I'm uh, going to be... I'm going to have to listen to this a bunch more because it's just crazy. Thank you. Pop Squat. Check it out. I'll be back. I'm going to do another video. This one was nuts. This one was just...